Hi everyone. Well, I guess what you could call an internet rumor has been circulating lately about possible false flag event coming to Berlin on the 26th of June of this year. Is this just a lot of conjecture or have people actually stumbled across some predictive programming that's giving them clues about an upcoming event? So here's the video that outlines most of the reasons for all this speculation. Weitere Hinweise Mega Ritual 2011 26 06 11, which means uh, more clues about the Mega Ritual, I think. One of the main supposed clues are the lyrics in a Leonard Cohen song with uh, Jennifer Warnes called First We Take Manhattan. And they say, First we take Manhattan and then we take Berlin. So does this mean, you know, 9 11 was Manhattan and something's coming for Berlin? I don't know. So in the first video, Weitere Hinweise Mega Ritual, the uploader shows you some footage from a film which is interpreted to have numerological significance such as the numbers of the pages of a book being turned in the film supposedly add up to something he circled the page on the corner and it's gotta mean something and also this little thing hanging on the dashboard of a car that says 224422 well he's used some kind of numerology but not done the right way to figure that these numbers add up to uh, 26, 6, and 11. But he's done it like this. See, the, the 2 and the 2 and the 4 would be 26 if you add it up like that. Uh, then you've got the 4 and the 2, which is 6. And he's kind of reverse engineered the 2 into an 11. All right, that's not the way numerology works. I, there are these basic numbers, 1 through 9, which cannot be reduced. Also, 11, 22, and 33. I don't know what they call it exactly, but you, you can reduce any number down to one of these. Such as 123, you take 1 plus 2 plus 3, and you would get the reduced number 6. But you take a number like 22, 44, 22, and you can rearrange it any way you want. I guess you can come up with pretty much any number that suits your purposes. You know, to me, this is conspiracy theory in its most pejorative sense at its best. Just because a number-loving schizophrenic has gotten involved, and taking this all to a new level doesn't mean we should throw the whole thing out the window, does it? Maybe there is something to it. Or maybe not. Look, I'm a big fan of reading between the lines, but there are times when these internet panic rumors seem to do nothing but serve the purpose of distract us from real concerns that we have, such as getting abducted by aliens any night now. I'm just kidding. Well. Maybe I'm not. There's a lot of overlap. But let me get back to the imminent disaster in Berlin with a more reliable source. This comes from the blog. This is a German blog, but you can run it through a translator, I guess. And what he's done is he's put together uh, well, all these articles about things that might be tipping us off that something is coming. Uh, like Angela Merkel got the most important uh, medal of honor in the world. The natural gas in Berlin some kind of a big vat of it. Leonard Cohen gets the Prince of Asturian Prize for Literature for his life work, first Manhattan, then Berlin. And other things like that. Sure, there are a lot of strange things going on in Berlin, no doubt about that, but does it mean that they're going to do a false flag? You know, I can understand someone in Germany be concerned, but, you know, I hate to sound like your auntie, but what are you going to do about it? Let me remind you that these kind of things come up all the time. I mean, I'm a veteran truther and I've lived through many of these, you know, some big false flag thing scare is going to happen any minute now kind of deals. For example, last November, the clock on the Simpsons was interpreted to mean that we were going to have a nuclear false flag in America uh, on the 6th of November. Somehow now, this clock has been reinterpreted to mean that we're going to have a false flag in Germany on the 26th of June. And you may remember that a statement made by a character in the movie 2012 was taken as a hint that there would be a false flag at the Canadian Olympics in, in 2010. So this, this kind of thing happens often enough and usually turns out to be wrong. However, the elites really do use predictive programming via the movies to drop clues about what they're going to do. 
maybe it's some kind of satanic ritual to get your unconscious consent but for whatever reason they do do it and and sometimes we we notice these clues later such as um, in the lone gunman they said the World Trade Center would get attacked by planes and this was about six months before it actually happened also the pamphlet in the Simpsons showing 9-11 the numbers 9-11 with the World Trade Center in the background and I think Neo's ID card in the Matrix said uh, September 11th, 2001. And there was also a description of 4,000 lives being sacrificed in a false flag in The Long Kiss Goodnight, a movie from 1996 with Gina Davis. So they were basically talking about, you know, doing a false flag to get funding for something. So looking back at these things, it seems like they were clear indications of what's to come. But can we predict future events in the same way? Or do these things only become clear in retrospect with 2020 hindsight? I can't say what's going to happen in Berlin in a few days. Hopefully nothing will happen. Hopefully this is paranoia and conjecture. My guess is that it probably is. And also, I'd like to point out that, you know, we like to you know, say that the, the mainstream media is just a big circus and they got all the sheep running in one direction or another. But, you know, the alternative media is a lot of the same thing. I mean, you know, the mainstream media is talking about who won Miss USA or whether Bristol Palin's pregnant or whatever. I don't think she is. Is she pregnant? Meanwhile, the alternative media, you know, has us all in a flurry about the possible false flags and all these things that may or may not happen. But it serves the same kind of purpose, which is just to keep us occupied with something that's just going to, you know, distract us. I had someone on the radio today who knows people who are in the, uh, of the 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati. Well, they, they're not from all 13 of them. They're from two of the 13. And, and they say that they do this all the time and they just play the public, you know. I think that's all that this is. I don't think we should really freak out over it. Really, I, I think somebody analyzes a movie and puts these numbers together using numerology but it's all screwed up it's not even real numerology so once I saw that you know what his credibility just went out the window for me because I mean if he doesn't even know how to use numerology and he's using it in this weird way it just looks like he's nuts it makes truthers look bad honestly you know so let's not worry about this and, and and let's find something else to worry about or better yet let's not worry at all maybe just for a few hours and enjoy our lives how would that be for a change? You know, but... I know, if I say not to worry, they'll think I'm a shill. It's, it's tough. You know, either this is completely nuts, and it's not worth thinking, even thinking about, or maybe they really are going to do a false flag. In that case, I'm doing my part by at least spreading the information. It's just in case, because maybe that way they won't be able to do the false flag, which they probably won't do, and then we'll never really know whether it was because it was never going to happen or it's because we busted them. But, you know, let's not be stressed out just for a few hours. How's that? Well, thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.